During the early hours one night, we investigated the tunnels of Colas Fort. There was only three of us on site, myself, James and Roy, and the outside world was unaware of us being there. This is a controlled investigation. Shh, shh. That's the bars behind you. It's the flagpole, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. they are. That's all there. That's in it? Yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? It's quiet, yeah. very quiet. Yeah. I was like saying, I said the I was, saying, I was just saying the, yeah, the doors. After Roy said I was saying the first time, I clearly heard someone shout Oi or Roy and it came from within the tunnels of the 1 to 8 entrance. Now we're not saying this is paranormal, but it's quite interesting because I heard it, no one else heard it, yet both our dixophone and the camera heard it. But me and James were shot when we was there alone a few days later and got a similar thing. Ooh. <laughs> you can do trick photography, you see people are like, oh my god, look at this. But you don't want, we're not doing that for this reason. Also these photos aren't paranormal, these are fake, these are purposely done. Oh, yeah. Then you probably wind, that's what I heard. Wait. We clearly heard this noise. So I went to investigate. I'm pretty sure it didn't come from outside because I was right by the windows to the latrines. James was sure it came from the tunnel entrance. Weird, isn't it? I had the camera on, everything. Who's that? Oh. Yeah, I heard that, yeah. We have something called the Ovilus 3. This is a device that uses several pieces of scientific equipment to measure and emulate the voices of the dead. See what you think. Okay, we're in the entrance to rooms 1 to 14 of the tunnels of Cold House Fort. And what I'm going to do here is get out this new device. It's called an Ovulus 3. There's been previous incarnations of this device. Uh, not many times used at Cold House Fort. This is the first time Ovulus 3 has been used at Cold House Fort. Okay, here we are in room, or the entrance to the corridor and tunnels, Cold House Fort, room 1 area. Shove. Are you going to shove me? Can you see that? Really. Why have you said shove? S H O V E. That is shove, isn't it? Or is it a shove? Yeah. Why have you said shove? This is amazing. We'd only had the Ovulus on for literally a couple of minutes and it already started coming out with some words. Carrier. This is the word carrier. Oh, hang on a minute. Do you mean the ca what the what my rucksack? A oh, carrier bag. Carrier rucksack, some sort of thing maybe. Are you talking about my rucksack? Behind me.
Yeah, I'm right by the door. <laughs> you want me to open the door? Do you want me to open the door? Is that a file as in paper file? Africa. <laughs> Random. Award. File Africa Award. Are you telling me that it is on the, Are you a soldier here or something and you're on your file that you got an award for serving in Africa or something? I don't think I can think of it. What we didn't realise is during research a few weeks later, it turns out that General Charles George Gordon actually built coal asphalt. It's on record that he went to Africa and was awarded for his service there during the army. Could this be, finally, the spirit of George?